future of the ocean's coral reefs is more perilous than ever. That's according to the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. In the last few minutes, it's announced what it calls the fourth mass coral bleaching event is already underway. Well, this is what's at risk. Mile after mile of coral reef slowly turning white or even dying out altogether. By some estimates, around 50% of coral has been lost in the last 20 years. Well, let's get more on this development. Let's speak to our science reporter, Georgina Renard, who's in the newsroom for us. And Georgina, uh, welcome here to the programme. Uh, this seems quite a disturbing new report. Uh, bring us right up to date. Yes, that's right. So what this, these US officials are saying is that we're now in the fourth global mass coral bleaching event. The first one was in 1998, and we've had two since then, and now we're in the fourth one. Now, what this means is uh, coral is, is this very sensitive animal. It, it lives often in shallow waters. But when the water it's living in gets too hot, it gets stressed. It expels an algae that lives inside it, and then it can turn white, and often it can die. Um, this is interesting also because we've been seeing for months these broken climate records, ocean heat driving up and really seeing unprecedented levels of, of warming in the oceans that's partly driven by climate change or mostly driven by climate change and also by El Nino, this natural climate fluctuation that started last year. We've been reporting on those broken records for months, but this is now the first really solid global evidence of just what that heat is doing to the oceans and to this really fragile, sensitive ecosystem. And these reefs, coral build these vast cities underwater. They're sometimes called the sea's architects. And inside those reefs live yes. a quarter of all marine life. So this isn't just about these, these amazing animals. It's also about the rest of us, our fishing, and also the, uh, the income, the trillions of dollars that coral reefs generate around the world. And Georgina, we're seeing coral reefs in all their glory with all their colours. But once the bleaching starts, is there any way that it can be stopped or reversed? That's one of the strange things. The pictures actually look quite beautiful, but scientists say up close when they dive in the water, the coral is decaying and they can see it sort of coming apart. Unfortunately, this is once the coral starts to, to bleach, um, it's very difficult to turn back. If it's given enough time, it can recover but it needs one to even five years to get, to get better. And in that time, it's quite susceptible to disease. If there's enough time between these heat episodes, it can get better. Um, but at this rate, that seems unlikely. There are some local solutions. So some coral reefs um, have had some successful restoration. Um, they have managed to create some coral that is resistant to these higher temperatures. But all the scientists I've spoken to to prepare for this story they said that it's really a case of adapting to a future with a different type of coral and much less of it, rather than really being able to save all of the coral reefs across the world's oceans. Now, in previous bleaching events, how much of the world's coral reefs were, were actually lost? So it, it's, it's very difficult to tell exactly how much coral uh, mortality there's been. That would require scientists to go onto every single piece of coral reef in the world. In the last episode, which was 2014 to 2016, more than half of the world's uh, corals were in waters that were too hot. And in some areas, we saw 25%, 30%, up to 50% mortality. This episode that these US officials have just declared uh, is still ongoing, and they're saying they do expect that bleaching to surpass it. And just one of the things to think about is that coral provide this amazing home some of the sounds that they make that amazing creaking and almost singing uh, it's vital to the to the fish that, that live in in the waters and when the, the fish actually use that creaking to find their way home and when the coral dies the fish lose that sound that's sort of the siren that takes them back uh, and so what we see when the coral dies is fish and other animals can no longer find that way back to the these huge reefs that they call their home Georgina, we have to leave it there, but thanks for bringing us right up to date on that uh, breaking new report. Uh